Okay, so for this week I want to talk to you a little bit about X, Y, and Z and the different dimensions of 3D printing. So to start, I'm just going to go over and I'm going to pull in a cube or box, whatever you want to call it. I figure this will make it easiest for us to do the explanation. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm also going to pull out the ruler so we can see the measurements of each side. Now, if we're looking at this square or rectangle, or excuse me, cube, I should say, if we're looking at the cube from the top, it kind of just looks like a square, meaning it's only two dimensional. In two dimensional space, You are looking at things as they are flat. So if something was printed on a sheet of paper, you would see a square. And when you're measuring something on a sheet of paper, you only need to measure length and width because it's not a physical object that you can hold. That's where the Z comes in. So to explain this a little bit more, if we're looking at our square, let's actually turn it into a rectangle. So now we have our length is 40 and our width is 20. But that's only two sides, right? And there's a lot more sides than that. And if we look at our cube from different angles, moving our work plane around, you are able to see all three dimensions of this shape. And that third dimension is how we find out our height. So if I change our width to 10, our height is 20, and our length is 40, now we have a shape that is three-dimensional, which our x-axis, if we think about a coordinate grid in our two-dimensional shape, our x-axis moves left to right. That is our length. Our length of this shape is 40. Our width our y-axis is 10, and our z, which is our height, is 20. Now this gets even more important when you start thinking about building things in Tinkercad. So right now, with just one shape, so it's kind of easy to look at. It's not too confusing or too complicated. But if I'm looking at this from the top down, and I want to add a roof on it to make it the roof of my house, if I drag um, a... Uh, roof onto the screen and try to put it on top of the shape by moving it from left to right or up and down on my screen, on my 2D object, it doesn't really let me put it on top. But if I change the view, I am able to see this little carrot. And this carrot allows me to pick this shape up off of the work plane and now place it somewhere that I'd like to place it. And this is where it's really important to look at things from different angles, because right now it kind of looks pretty perfect. And it is pretty good. But if I were to move this a little bit more, say like that, it looks a lot better, right? But as soon as I shift to look at this shape from a different angle, now I realize, oh no, my roof is no longer on top of my shape, and it's actually nowhere near being on top of it. So it's really important as you work in Tinkercad to always be shifting your viewpoint. Now, I really want to make this actually fit. So I'm going to make this 40, right? Because my length is 40. Now, my width also needs to match in order for it to be a fitting roof. So I'm going to change that to 10. I don't believe I just changed the right number. Yeah, that was the height of this. I need to change the width of my triangle. Now that I changed the proper thing, if I put it back on top, it matches up really nicely. Now I have a nice roof that's fitting pretty well on top of my rectangle. Now, if I want to center it perfectly, I can move it over a little bit more. And now I have my house, that from all angles, it looks great. But as I said before, it's very important to look at your shapes from all different angles in order to do this properly. 
That is our x, y, and up gives us our z. Have a great one.